most Muslim customers couldn't get their uh, halal mooncakes in the market. Uh, the most that they can only get are from JB. I've started off to sell off my mooncake, uh, market of my mooncakes since uh, three years back. The non-Muslim customers or non-Muslim vendors who are with us, they were quite shocked when we first time started off to market the mooncakes. And every time when they come over to our booth, they will ask us whether we, did, we took the mooncakes from Malaysia. In the end, I just tell them, no, it's from our own humble little shop. We do not use any lard um, and also wine uh, for the filling. In fact, I have not tried at all, yeah, for the uh, non for the uh, non halal mooncakes. But um, we only get feedbacks from our Chinese customer. Okay, they said ours is at least about 90, 90 to ninety five percent, almost similar to what the non halal mooncake was in um, market up. Ours is slightly, uh, slightly dry, but it's crumbly. It takes me about a few hours to learn, but Learning is a process, right? So, and another thing is that it took a few years for me to master the making the mooncake. For our first year, we had a lot of uh, challenges, about 150 to 200 boxes that we managed to sell. Then the following year, it increases to 200 to 250 boxes. But this year, touch almost what, 200 to 400 pieces. Of course, my wishes, uh, I would like to grow wider in my business. To not only wider, maybe globally.